Coach Ted, Ted Lackey show here on the Bear Network. I'm your host, Gary Olby. And we're joining Coach Lackey with a whole bunch of good looking senior girls. <laughs> and I will start down here on the end, Coach, if you don't care, and let them introduce themselves and tell us what position. Play pick up the mic there, bro. My name is Alyssa Holt, and I play center back. I'm Kimber Hooper, and I play keeper. I'm Elsie Hartwig, and I play midfield. I'm Mia McCastle, and I play center back. I'm Caitlin Matmahan, and I play striker. These girls, coach, are all seniors? And yes, you have a few all other seniors, seniors, unfortunately. Yes, we have a few more, and we've just been really lucky with our seniors this year. They've been great leaders on and off the field. and I've been around a while now, and this is one of our, I think, better groups of leadership that we've had, boys and girls-wise. They're just such a good group, and do really well in school, do really well on the soccer field. We're going to miss them a lot. Well, that's the way it is in high school and college, too. You know, you have a good year, and you can cycle through there and get some other players in there. Uh, I'll start down here on the end with you, Alyssa. How has the season gone in your mind? You know, Coach is here. He's going to listen to what you're saying, so you know, <laughs> brag on him or whatever you want to do. But, no, really, just, how's the season gone for the girls? Um, I think it's been pretty good, like, compared to other years, and I think that, like, we're trying to just keep it positive and keep going through the season. So. What's one of the hard things about being in soccer? I mean, you got to be in great condition, and you girls are young and slim and trim, and because you run, you run and run and run and run. That's oh, yeah. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's, a, it's a, and people think, well, it's not a physical sport. Well, it, it can be pretty physical because I've seen soccer. You know, you're running into each other, and tripping, and falling. And, Oh, Lisa that. probably has some bruises she can show us. I do. There's a lot of leg bruises at this oh, point sure. in the season. Even with the shin guards on? You still... Even with the shin guards on, yeah. yeah. It, is getting into shape, is that, being young as you are, probably didn't take you in shape like some old fat guy like me, but <laughs> is it tough to stay in shape once the season starts? I mean, I guess. Um, I don't really think so, because during the games we run a lot, so yeah. I think it pretty it maintains pretty well throughout the season. And Kimber, I bet during the summertime, hand her the mic if you will, during the summertime when you're in here practicing in the heat of the uh -huh. day, that's really when it affects you. Um, yeah, I mean, it's like we're kind of used to it, so because yeah. it's like girl season, this is our season, so we're kind of used to the heat. We love the track in the summer. Oh, yeah, we do. Uh, There's nothing like a track in the summertime. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to stay in shape, though. Yeah. Otherwise, you you know, the other team's going to run you off the, the field there. Mm -hmm. Elsie, how long have you been playing soccer? <laughs> um, I've been playing soccer since I was like four or five years old. Okay, so yeah. you're a veteran then, Elsie. You played <laughs> yeah. all four years here at Bradley. <laughs> yeah. Do any of you girls hope to play in college? If you get the opportunity, would you like to, or is this your last go around to high school? I <laughs> am actually looking into Tennessee Westland, oh, and you? I'm going to go practice with them tomorrow. Okay. So, I'm looking into it. There, there you, you go. go. Like well, let's let's talk about school here, man. I'm going to get back to you in a minute. What do you? What's your favorite class here? Just go down the line here. Start with Caitlin here. My favorite class is history. History. Oh, I love history. Mm -hmm. I, I, if I were a teacher, I'd be teaching history. Yeah. Um, I think mine would be math. Math? Mm -hmm. mm, not one of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me neither. Um, my favorite classes at Broadway are probably like medical classes. Okay, yeah. so you like that. Um, mine are the medical classes too. The teachers are really good and I just like them a lot. I also enjoy the medical classes here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the classes you like here at Bradley, is that something you'd probably try to study in college? Yeah. Yes. Get there and just continue that. Uh, and Coach? You're in education. Your whole yes. family's in education. I mean, the whole group. Uh, what inspired you as a, to be a coach to start with, and who inspired you in your life? You go to your, you know, I know you lost your dad, but was he an inspiration to you to get into teaching, or what got you wanting to teach and, and wanting to coach? I think being around education as a kid and, like, my family being teachers, it definitely exposed me to it pretty much all my life. But I kind of fell into coaching. I'm lucky that it that I kind of got soccer back because I didn't play in college and I was just here at the right place at the right time when our mentor needed help with the boys and have been able to grow under the right people and now I get to play a lot of soccer all year. <laughs> That's, <fun. laughs> That's yeah. right. Because no folks, you, you may not know, but he's going to be coaching the boys in the springtime. So we don't, we don't have another coach at Bradley, I don't think. Well, Joel is, he's my, I just hired him to be the assistant for the boys. And, and he helps in our history. Yes. For two yeah. different teams. Yeah. 
Hey, hey, yeah. How's that going to affect your life, your marriage, or something? Um, <laughs> Ask me at the end of May. My wife's definitely a trooper. Marin's awesome. They're actually at the beach right now. They're enjoying their own little fall break. Oh, oh man. Uh, so, yeah, you explain yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, she's very supportive and knows how much I enjoy being on the soccer field and coaching. And so they're very supportive. And the kids are, they'll tell you, they're pretty much at every home game. Yeah. And, a lot of away games too and they love the girls and we'll be you know i'll be talking to the team and i've got my kids are in laps while i'm addressing the team so it's kind of fun to uh yeah. bring the world together yes yes uh, we have a lot of fun so. well my wife she's very understanding i'm involved in a lot of things here at bradley and especially at night doing things and i'll, I'll have a night off she said can't you find something to do yeah. <laughs> you <got> somewhere else. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you have someone inspires you on the days i'm going to ask you all this to get ready <laughs> we all have bad days and we know we have bad days you know is there someone you go to a parent or a, a, one of your friends here a soccer team or you coach or somebody that just to hey help me out here let's just talk about things Tell me anybody that might inspire you um i'd probably say my mom because she's always there for me and just well, that's great yeah. yeah how about you kimber my, my mom too she's really sweet she it's right. like, yeah, nice. my dad is more <laughs> yeah. like mean about things. So I talk to my mom about things, and she's just really understanding and sweet. Well, they, they know you better than anyone yeah. at your age, especially. You know, my wife, we've been together so long that, you know, she's like a mom to me. She knows my bad habits and my good habits. I don't have many of those, but she knows what's <laughs> going on there. Elsie? Um, I would have to agree with my mom, too, yeah. definitely. <laughs> but also, like, there's definitely yeah. teachers Wait, at Bradley. I would go to two at Bradley if I ever was well, having a bad day or something. Girl and your mom, yeah. Right? Don't make yeah. Sense. Um, I would probably say like my friends and Caitlin <laughs> and my family as well. <laughs> yeah, they really just like help me and just like help me move forward with things. It's good to have a peer, you know, that's your age and knows you and that you know them and you can confide in them. And, talk about things that you want to talk about. Caitlin? Mia really helps me, and I go to all the yeah. captains all the time, and I talk to Lackey. But I would really say my parents, they're really good about talking me through things and helping me and showing me the best path, but giving me options, and so I'm really blessed Would you to like have call them, them. into education? Yes, sir. Really? Yes, sir. Her dad's a teacher, so folks, by the way, in case. And yeah, Sister Preston here. Well, Coach, bring us up to date on what's happened in the world, and let's talk about who's scored the goals and things like that, if you would. I uh, hope you brought some stats with you today. That we I did. I brought some. Um, so our record, we've got eight wins. Uh, we've got three ties and ten losses, so we're kind of even in positive and negative results. And um, I think with the schedule this year, the girls have done really well as far as performing against the more challenging teams and still earning a good result. And then taking care of business and the games that we should take care of business in. So I felt like the schedule's been pretty balanced and they've performed the right way based on the competition. Mm -hmm. um, and then as far as our uh, goals scored, we've got 39 goals in and 39 goals against. So we're kind of right at mm -hmm. balanced for um, our goal differential, which I'm also really happy about um, compared to last year. And then just to point out a few of our players here, um, Alyssa, we'll just start on the end. Alyssa's first team all district award this year, and right. her and Kimber have worked together for seven shutouts, which is huge compared to last season. Shutouts is when we don't get scored on at all, and and Kimber and uh, Holt have been big in that. Kimber is also first team all district. Um, Elsie has got four goals and ten assists, so she's been very productive offensively in the Small midfield. Small here. She yeah, <laughs> very productive. Um, and she's second team all district. And then um, Mia has been a captain for our JV, and she's really held the structure there. She plays center back. She scored an awesome goal against Ottawa. Had an excellent free kick. Um, and then Caitlin has got 21 goals, six assists. So she's our top goal involvement player this year mm -hmm. and then she's also our overall district MVP. I'm just now telling her that. So All right. she's our overall district MVP this you heard year. It here so first, we're, then. Yeah, we're yep. really proud of her. What do you have coming up for the Bears? When I know we're recording this on Thursday morning, but senior night tonight? Yeah, senior night tonight starts at six PM. It's our last regular season game and it'll be at Bear Stadium. Um, and senior night ceremony will be at halftime. It's about six forty five and then we will play 
um, Ottawa at seven on Tuesday over fall break. At to, their place. Yes, at their place for the district semifinal. And if you win the district semis, you pass to the region and yeah, you automatically you'll go to the final and then you'll get the you'll go to the region semi and based on the final, you either host or travel for that one. So we're looking forward to postseason. How how has it been? Uh, I know you've coached girls and boys both. Now as head coach for both of those. I've asked you this before, I'm asking you. You always ask me this question. <laughs> <laughs> Who's easier to coach, the girls or the boys? I think it's a trade-off. There's there's easier areas with both. Um, but it's it's funny how you know the girls will do clearly better with some things, and then the boys have their strengths as well. Um, it's funny, like when we'll run possession with the girls, they're all about the rules, and if you know you don't get three passes, you don't get your goal. Yeah. The boys, it's like it doesn't even matter. It's like you know, but then the boys, you go to do some drills, and they don't like it, and then it works with them, and they like it and do well with it. So it's got its trade-offs. Okay, well that's you know that's a Easy out. Yeah, that's right. the Maybe easy you out. Cover <laughs> to avoid the, the truth. Yeah. <laughs> what do you see yourself doing? I'm going to ask every one of this. Soccer behind you, high school behind you, college behind you. What are you going to be doing if I found you in 20 years from now? What would you like to be doing? Oh, I like to ask um, seniors that. It's, it's fun to ask seniors that because you get some crazy answers. I don't know. I like to pursue a career somewhere in the medical field. I'm looking into maybe pharmacy, but not completely set on that at the moment. Okay. Kimber? Well, I want to have three kids by then. Are you only three? Yeah. Why do you have two instead of twins? Well, okay, but I want four. That's okay. fine. That's fine. And I want to also, I want to be a pediatric nurse. So, Work hoping. Yeah, hoping to do that. Well, there's always a need for nurses yes. at any level. Yeah. Um, I'm also interested in a job in the medical field somewhere. I'm not sure yet. Maybe pediatrics, like Kimber, or like ER, something exciting. You Lots know. of trauma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That way you can work on soccer players, and they come in. You know. <laughs> Mia. Um, I'm also interested in the medical field as well. Um, I think I'm going to study sonography and do radio uh, ultrasound. So hopefully, I'll have a job as an ultrasound <laughs> technician. And married and kids. And Caitlin, we talked about you might be in education. What yes, level sir. would you like to teach at? I really love high school. High school. It would be my dream to come back and teach at Bradley here. After you put up with all these high school kids. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, I would love to coach either track or soccer. Oh, really? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm going to keep that in mind. <laughs> I've talked about it before. So, Coach, what are you going to do when you grow up? <laughs> I'm thinking about the time she gets done with school, my kids will be getting there. So, I might. <laughs> I think we'll have to pass the torch one day. Yeah. <laughs> well, girl, it's been really enjoyable and fun to have you girls here and talk. Coach, anything else you need to add? We need the crowd to turn out tonight. Senior night yes, here at Bradley night, come in the stadium yeah. and, and support these girls. They deserve it. They've earned it. So come out, support them, cheer them on. And we're playing who tonight? Sequoia. Sequoia. So you need to get a win tonight. Get ready for that uh, Udwal game next week on yeah. Tuesday at Udwal. Yes, sir. We'll start tonight at what time? Six. Six yeah. o'clock with halftime senior night. Yeah, it'll be about 6.45, 6.40. Anything you need to add or like to add about our program here with these girls or the mm -hmm. team? Or so we're going to miss them. There's big shoes to fill next year. Yeah. Miss them a lot. It's a sort of melancholy kind of, you know, you're proud of them to be seniors. Bittersweet. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's bittersweet. It really is. I would like to say thank you, Lackey and oh, Coach yeah. Harrell for these two years you've been coaching us, we're really blessed that you came on and changed the atmosphere, and we all really enjoy soccer because of who Lackey and Vance are, or Coach Harrell, sorry, of who they are. <laughs> and there's no drama on the team, and I'm so glad that yeah. I'm in the same grade, le grade level as these girls and made some really lifelong memories here at Bradley, oh, and I appreciate sure. it. It's nice to hear. Thank you. <laughs> and tonight, halftime ceremony with your parents and all out there, whoever, no tears, okay? Let them cry. Uh, no, no. No, cry. We can't promise you that. No. Team can't cry. The parents can cry. They want to. Uh, right. It's going to be like it rained on that turf second. <laughs> yeah. Well, it drains well. well. Yeah, it drains well, unfortunately. Yeah. But thank you, Coach Lackey. Thanks all you girls you. for being here. And thank you. Thank Bradley and everything. And good luck, you know. And, thank you. Uh, get some more wins. Yep, yeah, that's the, plan. <laughs> that's the plan. We're going to wrap this up here. This show is available on YouTube, on uh, Twitter. It'll be a link there. And just look for BCH the Bear Network on YouTube, and you can watch see us recording. Be there tonight if you can and get this in time Thursday at 6 o'clock yes, to sir. start.
Tuesday night, 7 o'clock at Udawa there. Until next time, this is Gary Omich saying so long for now. God bless and go Barrett.